Hello, I'm Lucy and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the beginning of a new cruise series where I'll be showing you everything you need to know about Ambassador Cruise Line's newest cruise ship Ambition where I'll be staying for the next two nights. This is a short taster cruise where we'll be driving to Tilbury Cruise Terminal in Essex, getting the coach to Bristol which is organised by Ambassador Cruise Line and then sails back to Tilbury for the two nights. I'll be doing these vlogs in three parts which will be Embarkation Day which is today, Sea Day and then Disembarkation Day. I'm here to show you everything you need to know about sailing on an Ambassador cruise ship. So let's not waste any more time and let's go. If you're arriving to Tilbury by train, then you will need to get off at Tilbury Town train station on the C2C line, which you can get from Fenchurch Street in London. There is a bus number 99 that runs from Tilbury Town station to the Tilbury Ferry, which is right next to the cruise terminal. There are signs for the cruise terminal car park, however on this occasion we were directed into the area that's usually drop off only and parked right outside the terminal. We paid £26 for parking the vehicle for two nights and online before the cruise you will be able to access your car parking permit that you need to print out and put on the dashboard. So we're at the cruise pool now and we've just been told to wait inside, it's just a little bit warmer in here while we wait for everyone to get on the coaches but I'm just going to show you around the cruise terminal here at Tilbury. After roughly 15 minutes since arriving, we were ready to get on the coaches. Online we were given a coach ticket to show either on our phones or print out. However, we didn't need this and just needed to give our names, but I would have this ticket ready just in case. The coach we sat on was very comfy and as you can see very spacious, even for my brother who is 6 foot 3. We've just stopped for half an hour in the services on the M4 going westbound and going to get a cheeky little something from Costa. When arriving at Bristol, don't be alarmed that the coach drives straight past the ship. We needed to go to the cruise terminal first, which is just a few minutes drive to the other side of the port. Taking the cases straight off the coach, through that door, out that door, onto a truck, and over to <coughs> my luggage should end up right outside my cabin. We were then directed into this building with now only our hand luggage and had a short wait to go through security like you would at the airport. After security, we then had our photo taken, which you can buy on board, which I'll talk about another time, but from here it was super speedy. The next step was collecting our cruise cards and then heading to the desk to officially check in and they take a photo of you to link to your card. Then it was straight out the door onto another coach to take us to the ship. Yay! Just some information about the cruise cards. This is the most important thing to keep on you at all times. You use it to tap on and off the ship. 
This is the key to your cabin and also how you pay for things on board. You will need to link your credit card online before the cruise so that the payments will be taken automatically at the end of the cruise. You can also pay by cash by visiting reception and preloading the money onto the account. You can check your account at any point on the ship by connecting to the free Wi-Fi and accessing either the app or web page, but I'll talk about the app, web page and Wi-Fi at another point. There's the My bag is it already here. Yay! So we're in the cabin, we're on board. We are gonna go and hit the buffet straight away as we've got to do our mustard drill at three o'clock. Um, I did ask my best to be double. So if I see my cabin steward, then I'll just ask him to arrange that. But so far, just a quick glimpse. This room is lovely. It's quite spacious actually, for especially for an inside cabin, which is good because some people can feel very claustrophobic. Um, but when I do go in the bathroom, there is a bit of a weird smell. So I'm not sure what that is. Maybe I'll just spray a little bit of perfume and hope that it's gone. But um, yeah, I'm really loving this cabin. Um, and hopefully for the next two nights, it will be very comfortable for me. So I'll let you know how that goes. And if I've got any problems, I'll keep you updated. But fingers crossed, all good. Anyway, let's go to the buffet. So this is the buffet Borough Market and it's included in the cruise fare. We're starting off with the vegan and vegetarian section and it's great that they've got all the allergens listed on each dish and a sign up the top as well. Above each station, they've also got a sign to show everything that's being served on this table, which I'll try and pull so you can see everything. This is one of the drink stations and these drinks are included. You don't need to pay any extra. There's different teas, coffees, decaf options and water. There's also some hot vegan options, pasta in tomato sauce, cauliflower manchurian and oriental fried rice. The next table caters to other dietary requirements such as gluten-free, low sugar, dairy-free, etc. On here we have pineapple, different types of melon, there's another one of those signs, sugar-free cinnamon cake, gluten-free apple crumble cake and other fruits. This next table has lots of healthy options. We have got cucumber, lettuce, carrots, bananas, ready mixed salads, some condiments, cheeses, figs, chutney crackers. And then around this side, we've got cold meats, olives, mixed pickles, onions, grapes, bell pepper, more lettuce and tomatoes. This table is the hot food. We've got pasta with seafood marinara sauce, rice, cauliflower manchurian again, vegetables and chips. Around this side we've got fish, tartar sauce, chicken tikka masala and roast gammon ham with gravy. Next we have the soup station with breads. There was a Windsor brown soup and vegetable soup with lots of different types of breads as you'll see in a second. Over here we have Yorkshire puddings, roast potatoes, vegetables and roast beef strip loin and gravy so you could have a lovely roast dinner. Then onto my favourite section, the desserts. We've got raspberry cheesecake, chocolate eclair, jelly, fruit tart, marble cake and then it's exactly the same on the other side. Lastly we have the hot dessert which is a warm mixed fruit crumble and custard. There's plenty of seating inside but they've also got this lovely area outside which I imagine would be really nice in the warmer months or even to be sat out here in the fields with the stunning scenery around you would be amazing. The cutlery could be found on the tables, which I love, so you don't have to go around hunting for it. And they also do table service drinks, which you have to pay for these, or it will be part of your drinks package if you have one.
it was then time for the muster drill, which legally the ship cannot leave until everyone on board has done this. It's a run through of what to do in an emergency, how to use your life jacket and where to go. On Ambassador, everyone at 3pm had to meet physically at their designated lifeboat, which is on the back of your cabin door or on your cruise guard. Nowadays, these are being done via a cruise lines app or the TV in the cabin where you can watch the safety video and then you have to go and scan into your muster station, which is the place you need to go if there's an emergency. There was a 10 minute talk through of the emergency instructions and you do not need to take your life jacket. Muster station, Diana, and we're all in it. Separate areas, but um, yeah, that was very traditional. I'll show you the ship. Pro oh, that's windy. I'll show you the ship properly at some point. But we're just having a little mazy round, properly, getting our bearings, which I recommend you do when you get on the cruise ship. We're hoping that they actually put water in them at some point, but sometimes on a port day they will drain it. So fingers crossed for tomorrow. We will see. It's a pool day. I don't care what kind of weather it is. I would like to go in a hot tub. They've got a bar this end of the pool area and a bar that end of the pool area. Some lovely seating, little pods, loads of sun loungers, so many places to sit. Very cute. Outside by the pool deck they've got the alfresco grill. I think I'm going the wrong way. Some wedges. Country sandwich, got new dressings, free hot drinks. While well, with the gentleman, we've gone for a slice of pizza and a ham and cheese toasty. Just come back in the buffet. Don't know why we did, but there's afternoon tea. Here yeah, they've got loads of sweet treats and sandwiches, exactly like you'd find at an afternoon tea. It's so British, I love it. Bacon rolls. And again, they've got options for people with dietary requirements. You've got sugar free stuff there, gluten free, and there's also a table for vegan and vegetarian options. Almost time to sail away. Well, it's actually sail away time now. We're up on the top deck because um, we have to go through a little lock in Bristol, so that could be interesting. Um, so far, first impressions are amazing. Everything is just, just love it. The staff are so friendly. Probably the friendliest staff ever. Um, every single person says hello to you, friendly smile on their face. Um, the drinks are really cheap. It's just lovely atmosphere. I'm just really enjoying it. I wish we were on here longer than two nights. But um, yeah, great first, first impressions so far. And we will keep you updated for what's going on. So this is the front of the ship. And there is the lock that we'll be going through. As you can see, that the ship is going to need to come through first. So this could be a little bit interesting. We're about an hour late leaving because of this ship. Ah, get out of the way! This is what's on today's program. I was actually just wondering what the dress code was for tonight. I didn't know if it was the formal night but it does say there that it's smart casual so that's very handy to let us know there. Gives us all the opening times of all the venues, bars, dining, all the food places. 
late night nibbles. I did wonder if they had a midnight buffet or late night buffet, but that seems to be what it is. On the other side, oh, not doing well with the zoom there, right? Oh. What's on tonight? Run the clock activities. So that's what's on today, sorry. That's just information on other things, but the actual daily program is that. Just trying to figure out what the number is for reception because I would like my bed to be a double bed because that's what I asked for, but can't see any information it might be in the book that was on the table possible that it was turned into a double please that's great thank you so much thank you bye so i just called um reception and finally found the numbers to call which is five zero 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 um and that's how you to reception but I've just called them to ask to change the bed into a double bed, which they said they will happily do. They'll contact housekeeping and that'll be done as soon as possible. So a little catch up before this evening's events. First impressions of the ship are 10 out of 10. Everything from the food, the staff, the drinks, just everything has been absolutely faultless. And I actually had a chat with a lady earlier who said the exact same thing, that I think it's both gonna be our first trip on Ambassador, but certainly not our last. That's if things carry on, obviously, the way that they are. We haven't seen everything yet, but we will do at some point, so don't worry, I will show you everything. I try not to film other people if I can help it, so I'll have to stay up late one night and I'll show you the ship then. I just want to make a little comment while I'm sitting here talking to you that I can actually feel the ship moving a little bit. It's not swaying backwards and forwards, but it's a little bit, it's a little bit rocky. Um, considering I am midship, if you're midship then you've got a lot less movement my mum and dad and my brother are in their cabins are at the aft of the ship i'll find out from them how they're getting on with the movement but it's more side to side rather it's more that way rather than forward and back i don't know why i'm doing that more that way than forward and back tonight we're going to be eating in the main dining room and you have to specify before you come on the cruise, what dining time you'd like. So they have a first sitting, which is roughly 6.30, and a second sitting, which is 8 p.m. But these can change. If you don't want one of these set dining options, then you can eat in the buffet, which is open from 6.30 till nine o'clock, or one of the specialty dining venues. We did choose online the first sitting, which was roughly 6.30. However, we've been given a time of 7.30. So, and just looking at, our all aboard sheet it says the time for the buckingham restaurant is at seven o'clock so i'm not sure why that's different to what we chose online but it is for some reason i have no explanation so i can't tell you because i don't know um so we'll be heading down there then and i don't actually have long to get ready i just want to tell you quickly a little bit about the food that is included and what isn't included so the dining options that I can see on the sheet in front of me is Borough Market, which is the buffet. The buffet is always included on this ship. You have the alfresco pizza and grill, which is also included. That is um, the one next to the pool that we went to earlier on deck 11. And there are two main dining rooms on this ship, the Buckingham restaurant and the Holyrood restaurant. But it seems that on this cruise, only the Buckingham restaurant is open. The specialty restaurants that are on board, which are two of them, saffron and lupinos they are both an extra cost so there are three food venues that are included in your cruise fare and two that are an extra cost after dinner i'm hoping that we go to the show which is in the theater and the theater is called the palladium uh, the show on tonight is called live at the palladium a night in nashville so that should be a lot of fun and then i'm hoping that we go to a game show in the cavern which is called musicality that's a venue that we've not been to yet so i'll get to show you that and then afterwards there is a silent disco also in the cavern so it'd be good that we're in the same place 
um, and a silent disco is one of my favourite things to do on a cruise ship so I'm really excited for that. So that's it for this little catch up. I need to go and get ready as I have about 45 minutes to shower, get ready, find what I'm going to wear because I've not decided yet. Um, so I will give you a little transition. One second. So I'm ready but I can't do my transition because the beds are moved. Um, but anyway, this is my room. Thank you. Now we're off to dinner in the main dining room, so come with us. Um. Friend boy, do you want to tell us what we've got? starters I've gone for the vegetable spring roll. Next is tomato soup and I saved my bread roll. I've got one of my favourite foods, the mains, which is lasagna. And then the ice cream sundae for dessert. And we're now looking for palladium. There. Very handy by all the lifts they've got this so you can tell where you are. Before you go into the Palladium, you have to go through the Purple Turtle Bar and it looks exactly the same on the other side. This is the theatre. Got a lovely sofa with tables. Obviously loads of legroom. Little twizzly chairs. Loads of stuff to so take your drinks orders. But we're it's at the front of the ship it's um it's rocking a lot so so i just have to pop back to my cabin while we're waiting for the show to start the time is currently 9 26 and the show starts at 9 30 but the ship is rocking so much that it's making me feel a little bit the my mum's got some seasick tablets luckily so i'm gonna go and have one of those when i go back and hopefully it kicks in fairly quickly. Also, we have heard that green apples work. I will keep you updated. I'll see if I can try and show you something to show how much it's rocking. Let me try and use my lip gloss one sec. I'm gonna come back this way. Well, that didn't really work up <laughs> anyway. Believe me when I say it's pretty rocky. Um, I hopefully will show you the theatre in the next clip. See you in a sec. I can't show you any of the footage apparently, but this is what the stage is looking like. I'm going to show you the picture and then you're going to have 10 seconds. Let's have a look. The Carpenters. Is it the Carpenters? Let's have a look. For this round, I'm going to play two songs merged together. You have to tell me who the song... You have to give me... These are the answers I need. I need song title and artist of song number one, song title and artist of song number two. I can tell you, happy back for Elle Williams and Mamba number five, Louis Vega is correct! Yeah!
I've seen right, so man. much madness on this stage tonight. I've ordered points for socks thrown, bad handling you, a variety of different aspects. And I can tell you that at the end of the game show, there is now just 50 points separating our two teams. Oh, wow, eh? I can tell you that walking away our winners are musicality champions tonight. And those leg kicks have pushed it over the top. Yeah. It's happening! Yeah. Still in my buzzer. Now, folks, if you want to get your headsets, we're going to be it's going um, starting in about five minutes' time. If you want to get your headsets, just head to the back. Channel our 60s, 70s, and 80s, and on our red. I've just come back from a very fun packed, busy evening. It's been so amazing. We started off obviously with the dinner in the main dining room, and that, as you could see, was just it was faultless. Every single one of us enjoyed all of our meals. We had four courses, which was very enjoyable. The staff were really lovely, and what I like about ambassador what celebrity also do is that they serve the ladies first and then serve the men which is a nice little gesture once we'd had dinner we went to the palladium which is the theater and that is on deck five you do have to go up some stairs to then come back down them however if you access it via deck six then it is accessible without any steps. Just something to remember if you have any mobility difficulties. The show was outstanding. It's quite a small stage and quite a small theatre, but obviously it's a small ship. But that does not mean that the talent of the performers is any different. They are as good as the performers on bigger cruise ships and bigger cruise lines. And also, I guess you would see them in the West End as well. They are just, honestly, they are incredible. So so great to watch, so great to listen to, so talented, and I really love the tap dancing. What was nice as well after the show is that the performers went up to the doors when we were leaving and were thanking everyone for coming um, and wishing everyone a lovely cruise, which is a nice extra touch. After the theatre, we went up to the cavern, which is up two floors on to deck seven. This was also at the front of the ship. So you literally had to go up two flights of stairs or go up two floors in the lift. And we watched a game show in there, which was called Musicality, which I said that earlier. It was so, so funny. There were two teams, one for each side of the room. And the lady that went up to play on behalf of our team was absolutely hilarious. She, she was, I think she made it incredible. She definitely made that show, but it would have been a good show anyway. There were separate different rounds and they had flash mob rounds where everyone had to get up on the dance floor, do a little conga, make as much noise as possible to try and get more points to your team. And it was such a good vibe, so much fun. Yeah, that was definitely a highlight of the evening. And once that had finished, between 11 and half 11, they were bringing around canapes. Waiters were bringing around big trays of sandwiches, um, obviously canapes, like little dish things. They were also bringing around chicken nuggets. Hallelujah! Um, mini sausage rolls, mini cocktail sausages, all those little party bites that you would probably get at a kid's party to be fair, but for me, that was absolutely perfect. And the tray was almost empty when it got to us. So clearly a hit and a nice little touch as there is no late night buffet. After the game show, also in the cavern, was the silent disco. Now, what was the highlight of my night? I don't know, I can't choose between the two because they were both so much fun. They got all the entertainment team involved, they were all there, all present, and that's not something that I've seen before on a cruise ship. Sometimes the entertainment team will get a little bit involved to get people on the dance floor and then they leave, but this entertainment team were there till the end with us. It started at quarter past 11 and I got back about 20 minutes ago and it's currently 20 to 2 in the morning so that tells you what a good time it was it must have finished about well it probably would have finished about quarter past one so first of all first impression of ambassador cruise line and specifically this cruise ship ambition it's just been amazing from as soon as we got to the cruise terminal in Tilbury 
to the moment we got on the ship to literally right this second everything has been how you wanted it to be maybe not so rocky would be nice but that's not something that the cruise ship company can help or the ship itself so yeah we could not fault it at all so far i would definitely oh my god 100 percent recommend ambassador cruise line and i think when i get home i will probably be booking one if nothing's gone bad in the next vlogs after this as of now i hope to be booking an ambassador cruise so watch this space i don't know if you've been able to hear them while i've been filming but there are a few little creaks going on while the ship is rocking you might be able to hear the picture just where it's tilting side to side and things are obviously being oh. I'm going to show you in a second of that is moving a lot. One sec. shows you how much the ship is rocking but that's something to bear in mind when you're booking your cabin is that the front and the back of the ship or the forward and the aft will be a lot more rocky than the midship and also higher up cabins are rockier than ones that are lower down anyway that is it for the end of this vlog i hope you've enjoyed it i hope it's been informative and helpful for you if you come on an ambassador cruise or giving you a little insight to cruising if you're going to be a first time cruiser and are thinking about it i think that ambassador would be a very good cruise for first time cruisers if you're still here then thank you so much for watching i can't wait to show you our day at sea in the next vlog i'll show you everything that there is to do on an ambassador cruise ship on a sea day so stay tuned for that i know that there's a remembrance day service tomorrow at quarter to 11 as it is the 11th of november i'm also hoping to show you some of the other spaces that we've not been able to see yet. please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button i'd be really grateful for that it's free to do and it shows me that you're enjoying my vlogs and it keeps the vlogs coming you can also head over to my instagram travel life with lucy for more content also leave a comment below if you've been on an ambassador cruise ship what you enjoyed what you didn't enjoy i would love to hear your opinions on this cruise line stay tuned and i'll see you for vlog two and the sea day bye